Oh, oh, I was gonna say she was doing something really nice, but never mind. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the first part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Not So Very Generation Numero 2. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and following this series. It's been kind of a mess. We're finally gonna start season 2. I am super excited. I hope everything goes well. Pray for me that everything is gonna work out fine. If this is your first time watching me, my native language is not English, so I apologize for any mistakes that I make while speaking in this video. I'm gonna try, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> oh gosh, I actually... I'm, a, I'm nervous. I don't know why. First parts are always so stressful. I think I'm gonna start by pulling up the rules and show you guys what the rules are for the second generation, the rose generation. I'm also gonna leave the link to them in description, so make sure to go check them out. If you guys don't know, this challenge was created by Little Simsy and always simming, so make sure to check them out as well. So generation two, Rose. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. So the traits that our Sim needs to have are the hot-headed trait, snob and romantic. Our Sim needs to have the serial romantic aspiration and we need to join the politician career, which is gonna be interesting because I never got to the last level level of career, so let's see if I can do it. And the rules consist of having only one child, let's hope we don't screw that one up, master the politician career and complete the serial romantic aspiration, which I already started a little bit in the first season, master the charisma skill, which I also started a little bit in first generation, leave someone at the altar, which is gonna be pretty, pretty interesting, I've never done it before, and get married for the first time as an elder. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. I kind of have an idea of how I'm gonna tell the story. I hope things go well. I never left someone at the altar. I don't even know how it works. We'll see, but I'm hoping everything is gonna go well. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this generation is gonna be a little bit slow paced compared to the previous one. The previous one, some people say it was a little bit hard. I didn't think it was that hard. It was challenging. And I always like a good challenge, you know? Because you don't want things to be easy. And with this one, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of storytelling and not really many things to do in a game. We're only gonna have one kid, which is gonna be super easy to handle. We need to focus a lot on our career, which honestly, I don't think it's gonna be too hard. And th that's pretty much it. A lot of boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, and just a lot of working, but not nothing really that interesting. Still, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to make this interesting. This first part, though, it's gonna be a little bit unorganized. I am sorry. <laughs> first parts are always very weird to make, because you barely play. You just talk and talk and talk. So I actually did a few things while I was playing on my own. I already aged up the girls. I did record it. I also gave them a makeover. I hope you guys watched the video that I gave Flora a makeover too. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move everybody out of the house we used to live in, which is this one over here. Everybody's gonna go their separate ways. I'm gonna show you guys the, the houses that I picked. I only built Flora's apartment. I got a little bit lazy and so I got a house from the gallery for Macy and Gavin and also for Rosemary and their girlfriend Isis. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna try to do this. I hope I remember this correctly. Okay, here. And now I'm gonna create a new household. I'm gonna move out Macy and Gavin, my babies. And I'm gonna move them over to this house over here. This house is called Rosy Hills. I'll show you guys in a bit who created it. But we're gonna move these guys over to here, furnished. Let's go. And here is the house. It's right next to our whole house. Uh, it is super tiny, but I find it really cozy and honestly, it's only gonna be these two living alone. They don't need a big house, so I think this looks just very comfy and just very practical. This house, let me see if I can figure out who created it. It was created by Vicky1QA and it is called Rosy Hills. It is a really, really cute house. And it has kind of a tone of green, even though it's called rosy. So I, I think it's perfect for them and I hope they have a good life over here. I don't know how many days they've left, but I'm gonna keep an eye out on them. And when I see they're reaching the end of their days, I'm gonna make them move in with us and we're gonna try to get their graves. So we're gonna be there in their final moments. I want to be there. 
and I hope we sell we still have a long time next up we need to move out rosemary so let's go here and I'm gonna create a new household or maybe what we can do is go to uh, send my shoe now and I think the Fang family should be over here, which is Rosemary's girlfriend. So over here, we're gonna move her, move these two together. So there you have it. And now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna move them over to this house over here called To The Rose. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks like in a second. So let's just go there. And this is the place. I really like this house. It's really big. It has kind of a... It has a ton of mint, but also some rosy colors, as you can see. So I thought this was perfect for these two. This house is really adorable, and I hope they have a great time here. If you guys are interested, this house was created by Oak Inc. And it is called To The Rose Furnished, so you can find it on the gallery as well. And that leaves us with our air, Flora. Let's go ahead and let's say our final goodbye to the house. Uh, pick up anything that I forgot. I think I got everything, but just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. So I hope we actually have all my family inventory still intact. It is intact. Okay, we have everything. I think I saved everything that I wanted to pass through the rest of the generations. Oh, we also had solar system. I'm, I'm gonna place it <laughs> just in case. Oh, look at the dollhouse. It's gonna remain like this. Maybe the next owner of this house will, will repair it. Um, oh, this painting. Let's bring it along as well. But I think we got everything. I think we did. Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye to our whole house. And we're gonna move to an apartment. You guys voted. We're gonna be living in an apartment. Eventually, we're gonna move to a house because I want to play with the stuff that came with toddler stuff back but let's go ahead bring out our phone and let's go move our household oh my gosh look at the money we have okay we're gonna move to San Maishuno and the apartment I'm thinking about moving into is over here and it is this one I already redecorated it and I made it very rose 400 as a weekly rent I think we can afford it we have a ton of cash Yep, we are good. So we're here. I'm gonna pause the game and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the place. Uh, what is my girl? <laughs> what is she? Oh. Oh, is this? It's Travis. He's old. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> okay, let's see if I didn't forget anything. Uh, this here is Flora. This is her new look. If you missed the makeover video that I did on her, this is her new look. I love her tattoos so much. I, I love her look, I, and I hope you guys like it as well. Uh, I think our apartment is this one over here. I think it is. Okay. This is our first look into the apartment. This is what we have. Um, we have a door here that takes us to the bathroom. So very rose, but very beautiful. Going out, we have a little flag here. We have a little sitting area and a TV. We also have here our kitchen. We have Whaley, he's back, he's never gonna leave us. We have a little garage door, it doesn't make sense, but it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> I just like it. Here we have an empty room, which is gonna be our office for now, but eventually it's gonna be another room for when we have someone over or for when we have the baby, I don't know. We actually have kind of a nice view. Yes, we do. And over here we have our main bedroom which is Flora's bedroom. You have some rose petals, very romantic. And this is the place. I really, really like it. And this is our beautiful view. Honestly, I really like this farm. It's tiny, but I think it works perfectly well for us. And it's just one sim, you know? It's just a single sim. I think we can work this out. So without much further ado, let's get started. I don't even know where to start exactly. Okay, Flora, do you like your new place? I think she does. Good, I worked hard on it. <laughs> I guess the first thing we can do is actually get the job, so let's get to it. And just like we did in the previous season, I'm gonna be sharing all the screenshots that I take throughout the game in my Tumblr, so the link for it will be in the description. Let's see. Politician career should be... 
over here, join a life of public service from protesting against the unjust to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting the occasional bribe as a means to an end. Politics is always interesting. Career branches, politician and charity organizer. We're gonna be a politician. We're gonna earn 39 simoleons per hour and we're gonna work from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We can do this. We need to do this, in fact. What is she gonna do? Chat with Kira. Oh, you're down here? <laughs> Work assignments. She was a cause to support. Should Florida get a jump start in the safety assignment? Well, yes, we should. Don't ask me if I should. I will. I don't know where she's going, but she went down in a, fl in a blink of an eye. Is it a festival? Is it the Romance Festival today? Maybe it is. I had no idea. How fitting. Oh, maybe she's gonna get some food, but no one's working yet. Hmm. Aw. What a great way to start the day at the Romance Festival. Is someone gonna work? <laughs> I want some food. Do not steal my spot. That was your first, Khaled. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go back to our place. We'll be back soon. Because no one's working right now. Let's get started on our assignment. Choose a call to support. How do we do that? Click on your sim, choose politician career, then pick calls to sh Okay. Click on sim, political career, pick cause. Uh, choose foundation for less mischief. <laughs> That's a foundation to stop your mother. Uh, shoes no sim left behind. Shoes simoleons for everyone. Shoes speak for the trees. Shoes world united. Uh, ooh. What would Flora pick? Maybe simoleons for everyone. She's kind of a snob. So she cares about the money. <laughs> she does care about that. Okay, we're gonna go with that cause. Yeah, she seems to like it. Okay, Florida has chosen a cause support. Nice. Is there anything else we need to do? No, I think that was it. And we already have the charisma skill level 3, so we're doing good. We're currently at level 4. Maybe we could work a little bit on charisma. When it comes to our aspiration, this is how far I've come. We are on the first stage of the serial romantic aspiration. So, for us to proceed, we need to have our third kiss. We kiss two sims. We need one more, but that's gonna take us some time, I think. Is the festival? Did festival start? Ooh, maybe it did. I think. <laughs> How come I didn't get any warning that today was gonna be the festival? There's no one working. What is everybody? Maybe I need port security? Okay, let's port security. Maybe that will make people show up. I don't know. Is anyone here? <laughs> Please. Maybe we could invite our boo. Flora has two romantic interests right now. One is her boyfriend. The second is her lover. Um, Seema is her boyfriend's sister, which doesn't really like her. It seems like she knows what Flora is up to. She knows. Okay, festival has started. Her current boyfriend is called... Lyndon, it's this guy over here, who's always with our shirt on for some reason. And then we have James, which is our lover, and I honestly feel like Flora likes James a lot more than Landon. Landon is a little bit boring, I feel. But we're gonna invite him over, and let's see if he wants to get romantic at the festival. Ooh, there's some food over here. Can I steal it? Is it high quality? <laughs> I don't wanna die. Okay, hit Nigiri. Landon will be right over. Don't steal my food, mister. That is my food. <laughs> oh, the perks of living in city. You can eat for free. Go on, Flora. She's having some issues with chopsticks, but she's, she's handling it, you know. Oh, congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you, Ruby. What is Landon, yo? Ask on dates? Dude, come to the romance festival with me. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say she was doing something really nice, but never mind. <laughs> never mind that. Okay, he's finally here. I got him to come. And this here is Landon. I'm a ga I gave him kind of a new look. They look pretty cute together, honestly. Look at them. Look at them. But it is not really what Flora likes. Still, 
this is a date and let's see if we can make this work or if this is gonna be a total disaster like it has happened before i think i'm gonna make them sit over here so let's sit together and let's see if this time it'll do something romantic because it doesn't usually get very touchy with us or romantic Sia's already getting up and going away from us <laughs> landed sit with me right now let's brighten his day come sit with me uh, sit with me landon <laughs> it's karaoke contest night at uh -huh. karaoke bar that could be interesting to do uh just ditch the, the romance festival go to karaoke night that could be fun flirt with your date be enticing will that work oh. come on landon don't you want uh, to sit on this bench cuddle. cuddle a little bit uh -huh. no uh, let's go and be funny. Tell her a joke. Mm -hmm. We're in the mood. Do an impression. Tell a joke about aliens. Did we? Oh, that didn't went well. No, Flora. Why, Flora? All the time. Awkward comment. <laughs> let's express fondness. Let's see if he goes for that. I don't know. Can we get take a picture? So cute! What? <laughs> and I think we just completed this one. Mm hmm. Have deep conversations with your dates. That I can do. Deep conversation. And let's have another one. And we need to flirt with our date while flirty. Let's go, Flora. Aw, oh, there. That's beautiful. Why can't we do this more often, dude? <laughs> oh, he's getting away from us. Cuties. Is it date time? Is it completed? Oh no, kiss your date passionately. That I will do. He's talking about himself. <laughs> okay, get over here. Oh no, that kid is not up. He's like, why? Come on, guys. Get a room. Not in front of me. Oh no, it is happy though. He's happy for us. <laughs> Can he go somewhere else or he's just gonna look at us? I don't know. Let's go to the karaoke bar. <laughs> this kid is creeping me out. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody's singing right now. Mm. Okay, let's go over here. We can protest for simoleons. Oh, can we? Can we promote our cause? Oh, give him the apartment key. Sure, let's see if he comes over, comes over sometime. Uh, I actually want to debate politics from left, debate, let's promote our cause. Okay, Landon has listened to Flora's passionate remarks about cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. Nice! We have this girl talking to Landon, I think, let's go to karaoke bar. <laughs> Now's the time! Let's go here together. Let's see, there's a lot of people at the karaoke bar thingy. Come on guys, I want to sing! Uh, singing karaoke contest? <laughs> Can we sing it the way? With Landon, of course. Aww! That's pretty cute. Is anyone listening to us? Uh, I don't think they are liking us. <laughs> We're trying! Oh, Cash is here! Cash! Let me go take another photo. I might invite him over to stay the night. I wonder how he would take that. Let's see. Okay, there we go. She's feeling a little tired. Let's ask if he wants to stay the night. Or maybe, maybe we should go to our place first. Oh, I can't troll because we're on the date. I'm gonna end it. We had a great date. <laughs> It was a great one. Can I travel uh, with Landon? Where is Landon? Landon. Let's invite him to stay the night. Landon will see me there. Good. I actually don't know when she should have the baby. I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like it could be soon, but I'm still going to think about it. It's not going to be now. Not now. But maybe soon. <laughs> Wink. I really should... Landon! Did he ditch me? Landon! 
how much you want to betty when shocking. <laughs> Honestly, he's always running away from us. He's a good boyfriend, he's very caring, but he's too sweet and innocent and I feel like that's the big contrast between him and James. James is mysterious and is very fun to be around and Landon is just very... I don't know. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Well, maybe let's call our other boyfriend. <laughs> James, do you want to come over? <gasps> You'll be right over! Now we're talking. Uh, let's go use the toilet while... Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here! Oh, okay, wait. Uh, let's invite him in. I think this is the first time you're gonna see James in camera. So, get ready, guys. He's a hunk. Why is it blurry? Okay, now it's back to normal. Now it's blurry again. Okay, it's back, it's back. <laughs> we're good. Okay, she's gonna use the toilet, just stay put, bud. Uh, maybe we can give him the apartment key. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Can we invite him to stay the night? I wanna do that. Uh, do we have work tomorrow? We do. Okay, let's hurry. A sleepover sounds great. Okay. Let's give him the apartment key. There we have it. And let's see if we can start flirting with him. I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, let's attempt to do sim. Oh, can I change this to... Romantic sandalwood. Maybe this will make them feel romantic. You know? You gotta set the mood. She's flirty. Is he flirty? Dude, attempt to do I'm tired. Okay, he's going for it. Let's go kiss him. And uh, maybe embrace him. I'm gonna take a few pictures, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me for a second. And maybe I can make them sit on the bed. Sit and chat here. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, turn off this light. Just make it more moody and romantic and let's head to the bedroom uh do we have any lights on <laughs> turn on this room not this room but turn off this light it's so dark though okay whatever is he coming over yes okay good let's whisper sweet nothings and i wonder if we can make out we can! Sweet! Oh, look at the view on the back! So beautiful! Oh my gosh! Very romantic indeed! And then... We're gonna woohoo! Oh yes, we are! Landon, you're missing out, pal! And here they go! Oh? Is this... I think this is the first time... Break out the candles, make a romantic. Flora is about to woohoo for the first time. Oh, snap! She really needs to sleep. It's not too late, though, so... It should be good. We should. Oh, no! What happened? <laughs> Performed poorly! <laughs> that woohoo didn't go so well. How embarrassing. Oh, Flora! No! <laughs> well, it was her first time. It was, it was. But you know what? I'm gonna end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe in the next part I'll reveal a little bit of what I'm planning to do. But yeah, we didn't do much. In the next part we're gonna make Flora go to work and we're gonna try to work on her career a little bit. Try to make her focus on this while we can because when the baby comes that, that's gonna be... We're not gonna have much time to work on our career, so I'm gonna try to work on that right now as much as possible, and yeah. Until the next part of Let's Play, goodbye everybody!